Here are the top 10 videos from February 2024 with minimal commentary. Watch it while you can. This is being scrubbed from the internet. The, the, the Super Bowl shoot. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. We, well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's how we know it's not a white man. I can tell you that much. Do you think they're, they're repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay. In this clip, I wanted to highlight the media's hypocrisy. Ann Coulter called out the truth, but the gentleman next to her He's more liberal leaning, and that's why I showed the discomfort because he's not allowed to tell the truth. A U.S. senator attempts to use the white privilege argument on Ben Shapiro. And the issue is, is that white privilege makes people uncomfortable to talk about the societal privilege that they have. Well, it, to me, the, what I say on campuses all the time is, if you want to cite instances of racism that we can all find and fight together. That's something that I'm more than willing to stand next to you and fight because that's obviously stuff that we should fight together. But when you just say that there is a white privilege out there in the ether and that by dint of birth, your skin color generates for you an advantage, what you're really saying to people is that you, your view is less valuable because you have not experienced what I've experienced. And that is an identity argument, that's a character argument, that's not a rational political argument that can actually be, be taken on in any way. That's, that's, it's, more of a, it's more of a cudgel in a club than it is an attempt to open a discussion. There is one political party constantly talking about race. I'll let you guess which one. Every joke has a little truth in it. You be the judge. And I walk like a toddler with a full diaper. <laughs> be yourself. And Joe, yourself is old. That's who you yes. are. Old. Very You're so old, old, your bad kid with a drug problem is 54. <laughs> These jokes work because they're true, Bill, not because it's funny and half-truth. Bill Maher has many good opinions, but he's a vote blue no matter who, and that can cause problems. George Carlin nailed it back in 2005, and it's still true today. The owners of the country, have to, they bought their elect, got their election, they said, we're going to get this election, but we put you people in that court for a reason. Right, Now's back the time to, to Earth us. for you and now. Yeah, forget all that stupid will you? <laughs> <laughs> What I challenge is the idea that there's some kind of conspiracy oh, about now this. I get to talk. I get what to talk. We don't you because... don't need a formal conspiracy. Right. When interests converge, these people went to the same universities oh, and please. fraternities. They're on it's, the it's same boards of directors. They're in the same country clubs. They have like interests. They yes. don't need to call a meeting. They know what's good for them. It's a and they're getting it. And there, there used to be this... seven oil companies. There are now three. It will soon Ooh. be two. The things that matter in this country have been reduced in choice. There are two political parties there are a handful of insurance companies there are about six or seven in information things. but if you want a bagel there are 23 flavors because you have the illusion you have the illusion of choice right i'm one of those people that wish we had more political parties more choice and less money in politics call me crazy when you laugh at ben shapiro he plays hardball in income inequality because it has nothing to do with race and everything to do with culture and when you have a culture that doesn't and when and when it you know what? Explain to me. You explain to me why black kids aren't graduating high school. Explain that one to me. Explain to me why black kids are shooting each other in rates significantly higher than whites are shooting each other. Explain to me why 13% of the population is responsible for 50% of the murder. Explain to me why the, why the number of blacks and black kids in prison, not for innocent reasons, not for walking down the street and getting pulled into a prison, is so high. Explain, if it has nothing to do with culture, explain to me why the single motherhood rate in the black community jumped from 20% to 70% in the same course of time that the civil rights movement has made such tremendous strides. Is America more racist now than it was in 1960? And if it is, please explain to me how that happened. Fatality. Suspiciously enough, this video went from 500,000 views a day down to 500 views a day. Thanks, YouTube. Candace Owens tells a college student what her family and friends should have told her a long time ago. What do you have to say to the trans students on this campus who feel actively victimized by your presence here? Life's tough. Get a helmet, man. I'm too pregnant for this. Your triggers are your responsibility. You can't expect all of society to know what triggers you at all times.
George Carlin nailed it yet again. And rights aren't rights if someone can take them away. They're privileges. That's all we've ever had in this country is a bill of temporary privileges. And if you read the news even badly, you know that every year the list gets shorter and shorter and shorter. Many people miss the point of this video. If you have rights, they are inalienable. That means the government cannot take them away. This man is fighting woke ideology at Oxford and all around the world. About 15 months ago, my wife got pregnant. Not me, because we're old school. And eventually he was born. And he is this cute little bundle of joy. He's cuter than about 80% of puppies, right? <laughs> now, if you said to me that I had a choice, either my son had a serious risk of starving or dying from a preventable disease in the next year, or I could press a button and he would live. He would go to school. He would bring his first girlfriend home. He'd go to university and graduate and become a woke idiot. But all I have to do is press this button. And for every day of my son's life, a giant plume of CO2 is going to re get released into the atmosphere. Now, you're all very young, and most of you are not parents. Let me tell you something. There is not a parent in the world who would not smash that button so hard their hand bled. This man is highly underrated. If you like these anti-woke videos, I highly recommend you look him up. A recent poll has shown 78% of Americans care about border security. Have Democrats ignored this too long? Do Republicans have a good answer to address the border crisis other than busing migrants to liberal cities? Ooh, a little dig there, Ted, a little... <laughs> it, a it, it's actually very simple, which is secure the border, and when you apprehend someone, send them home. When, when Joe Biden started, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And he came in and he immediately reimposed catch and release, and it produced the worst rate of illegal immigration in our nation's history. I, I spent a lot of time at the border. I go out on midnight patrol with border patrol agents. Really? Many times. You, you should come. I'll, I'll actually bring you if you're interested in In this video, I wanted to highlight how many politicians are fair weather fans. They'll blow whichever way the polls tell them to. This is what happens when you hang out only in extreme left circles. If you could stop Hitler by any means necessary, wouldn't you stop Hitler? And so they equate Donald Trump with Hitler and go, here you go, this is our modern Hitler. Do you see what Whoopi Goldberg said? What'd she say? Whoopi Goldberg said that Biden could arrest all the Republicans and put them in jail. You just need to see how unhinged this kind of thinking is. All those rights, he is immune from everything. No. You know what Joe Biden could do since he is presently president? What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he could throw every Republican in jail. Here's the flip side. If you get your way, the next time the other party's in control, they're going to use your tactics against you. Whoopi Goldberg has been known for saying some stupid things, like the Holocaust. That was just white people versus white people. It wasn't racism. <laughs> if you've made it this far in the video, Sincerely, thank you. And if you have any suggestions, comments, please feel free to drop the ideas down below. Please like, subscribe, comment. You know the usual jargon. YouTube tries to suppress certain channels and increase others. And if you're trying to guess my political persuasion, leave that in the comments. I personally feel I'm a constitutional libertarian, which is why I lean towards the conservative side right now, because they're the ones that seem to respect our freedoms and not silence speech, and tell you what you can and can't think or post online.